Well, hey there. Uh, since we started an EC2 instance and we didn't have great luck in our foundations, um, one, we're going to actually do a foundations lab. So Academy Learner Lab. Um, and there's associate and found, let's see, our foundations right here. So I created this. Um, I have actually already started uh, the lab so that we didn't have to um, jump through too many hoops and wait. So modules, close that. Learning Lab Foundation Services. And we're going to do the exact same thing here. We're going to start an EC2 instance. Uh, we're going to launch it. And this one, I expect, will shut down, but I think we can get it back. So start the lab. Oh, by the way, uh, I, sorry, I already started it. Um, it mentions here that this is an environment is long lived. So it'll end, but anything that you have created, but so, so running resources such as EC2 instances may be stopped. So um, we're going to jump into AWS. Uh, while that's going, I do want to mention AWS details here doesn't show um, the things I'm worried about. So we'll, we can look here. Um, you can download your key here. I have already downloaded it, uh, Lab User 4. And uh, you could show the CLI stuff. So to do command line interface. Um, so we're going to go to EC2. We're going to do the same thing I did last time. I'm first going to go to the key pairs. Um, notice this doesn't have a bastion host. Here's the key pair that's part of this, but we should always, oop, not create. We should always upload our own and don't let them create it. Um, it should be one that you create locally. It's just ssh-keygen, um, but that's by far the best way to do it. So now let's see, IDS RSA in my home directory .ssh. That's same with Windows in your Windows home directory. .ssh is where uh, they defaultly get created and should be placed. Um, that's the best place. So import this key pair. So there I have it. So EC2 dashboard oh, instances. And we're going to launch an instance. We're going to pick Amazon Linux 2. And I believe we're going to leave everything the same as oh, T2 micro. So small there, one CPU, one gig of memory. That's plenty. Um, review and launch. Launch. Choose an existing P key pair, Gepper, and launch the instance. And it should be there so I can now view instances. So it's still going to be booting. Um, we're going to see how fast it is. So. I'm going to copy this and open up a terminal window. Where'd my terminal window go? Oh, okay. Race to see if it finishes before I do. So SSH, uh, no dash I because I'm using my normal key. Um, so EC2 dash user is the default user for that instance. Um, some of the different uh, AMIs have uh, have different um, different users, by the way. But uh, EC2 user is the main one that uh, is used by Amazon. Okay, it's up enough that it's asking us for the fingerprint. This is, uh, I talk about this in every video, it seems like um, they do this. Uh, this is a new host, I haven't seen it before. So it's just saying, are you sure you trust it? I say yes, this helps avoid the man-in-the-middle attack, uh, and that's what it lets you in. But this can cause some problems later. And we're in. So uh, that's cool. I'm going to do the for loop here in 1 to 200. Do echo a sleep 2. So just two seconds before counting to the next number. Uh, so that we can just sit here and have it go. And I'm going to come back here and I'm going to log out. So remember, signing out does not affect it at all. So I'm signed out because that's just signing out of your data center. It's like walking out of your data center. Your computer's still running. Okay. Uh, so I close that window. Let's come back to here. You can see it's still running. Happy day. Okay. 
Now, what they say in this README is they reserve the right um, EC2 instances. Uh, oh, it's at the top. Um, that's long lived, but EC2 instances may be stopped. So let's end this lab. And yeah, it did stop the instance. Now with an API key, I should be able to start this back up. I don't, uh, I will be working on that eventually. Um, but it looks like, yeah, they've stopped us in our tracks there. If we started the lab back up, our key should still be there. The instance should be still be there, just needs to be started. So we'll do that in the next video, um, which hopefully will be soon. Uh, I need to run to class. So uh, I'll see if I can record another video after class between some meetings um, and show you what's still there. And I do have, uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll grab, so this AWS details, uh, interesting. So it looks like it's only there when the lab's going. So I'll grab it. I'm wondering if the API changes uh, the API uh, information. So I'll find out, uh, out about that uh, and hopefully have a new video soon. Talk to you later.